Americans use a dating site or app to find love. But this Valentine's, be cautious. More than half of the most popular dating apps are open to security risks. Tech expert Dave Hatter breaks down how to protect yourself. Good morning. Hey, Kara, how are you? Okay, it's dating season, and folks are going, you know, Valentine's is coming up. I'm a little lonely, so I want to meet someone, so you go online. That's right, and, you know, there's, there's never been more opportunities, whether it's Match.com, eHarmony, a lot of the sites you see advertised on TV, which have millions of users, or new apps that are springing up for your phone. There's, all, there's never been more opportunities and more people using these things. So Absolutely. The, the statistics you shared with us, you know, are really quite fascinating. How many people have delved into online dating? Yeah, I thought so, too. And, you know, when you break it down and think about it, as, as more people have smartphones and have more access to these applications, of course, more people are going to get on these sites and they're going to use them more often. And like so many things online, whether it's social media or dating apps or whatever, you have to be aware of the basic facts that, you know, apps are collecting your information that could be used in ways you might not care to have used. Um, people may misrepresent themselves. So there's all kinds of things you need to think about if you're going to go online and try to find a date. That's the big one that you were talking about is misrepresenting yourself. Just because you're on an online dating site and someone says I'm 6'1 and single doesn't necessarily mean they are. Yeah, Pew did a, did a study and some of these statistics I think that came out of that are very interesting. And this is all ironic because of course I've been married for a long time. So I don't actually use these sites myself. I just oh, want my okay. wife to know that at home. <laughs> um, you know, Pew found that, you know, roughly half of the people that have used these online dating sites have found that people have seriously misrepresented themselves when they met someone and about 30 percent said that you know they felt harassed or threatened by someone that they met online so again I, I don't think we should try to scare people off I think no. there's a perfectly legitimate use for these things but like anything you do online you know there are security risks what's going to happen to your information that you put out there because you may put it, be putting out lots of very personal information that you wouldn't just want widely shared is it secure what would happen if they go out of business you, know, you need to think about those kind of things and also what information is being collected about you are they selling that information and then the more practical stuff of again as you mentioned care people may misrepresent themselves you know they there are people who use these sites specifically to scam other people that try to prey on lonely people to get money you know con men or con men right and, mm -hmm. and now they have these new channels to use these sites so again I think if, if you want to meet people it's a great way to do it because you're literally exposing yourself to millions of users worldwide but there are risks that go along with it and you need to be aware of those well like you mentioned earlier there are new apps that are going to pop up especially as we get closer to Valentine's season um, and you were saying earlier that perhaps maybe you should stick with more reputable sites. Yeah, because you never know. I mean, there are people out there that will create apps that are really just malware. They want to steal your information. They want to, you know, steal your identity, whatever. And obviously, as holidays come around, these things will pop up. It, it, not to necessarily endorse any of the big players like right. eHarmony or Match, but they've been around for a while. They have a legitimate business model. They're real businesses. They're going to try to protect your information if anyone is, because it's in their best interest. And you have increasingly people say, okay, if there's 20 million users on Match, I want to find people that fit more of a niche. You know, I want to meet people like this that share my common interests. So new things pop up. Is it reputable? Is it safe? Is it real? Who knows? So, yeah, my advice would be stick to the more reputable ones. Okay, because a lot of times you're putting in your billing information, you don't that's, know where it's going. That's a really good point. Yeah, I mean, if, if you go online and you put in your billing information, are they following best practices to make sure that's secure? Because not only will they steal your information, if someone breaks into their database, and we know last year was the year of the data breach, right? Target, Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good point. Is that information on your phone? Is it secure when it's being transmitted? So, you know, I hate to always be a bummer on these things. No, you know? I know what you're but, saying. But, you're Education and awareness is key. Be skeptical. Remember that people are people, and they will use these as channels to scam you. So just be careful when you do this. Sounds story. like real-life dating to me, right? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. Okay. Uh, I've been there before. I think. It's been so long I can't remember, but uh, yes. You remember, Dave Hatter. Thanks so very much. We appreciate Thanks, it. You now we're going to be getting some rain turning into snow tonight. We want to show you a live picture of our radar as we head out on a quick break.